So hopefully that explained uh, that video clip, what we're talking about right here. All right. So now let's, uh, actually what you really need to do, th there's some rules on counting significant figures. Yep, hit pause. You need to hit pause and just count And write these down. down. Okay. All non-zeros count. All captive zeros count. All leading zeros don't count. Trailing zeros with a decimal count. Without a decimal, don't count. Yep, and we'll give you some examples. We're going to do nothing but examples to the end of this podcast. All right, so let's see if we can count significant digits. All right. Sams. So let's say I have uh, 5.238 grams. Okay. How many significant figures are there? Mr. Well, Sams? those are all non-zero digits, so all of those count as significant figures. So there's a 5. A 5, a 2, two a three, 3, and an 8. And an eight. That, that is would be 4, uh, four. Yeah. digits. Four, yeah. 4 significant digits. That's pretty easy. Yeah. All right, what if I have... Uh, 5.01. Okay, that's a captive zero. It's, stu it's uh -huh. captured between non-zero digits, so that's always significant. So that's three significant figures. The 5, five the zero, zero, and the 1. Oh, I'm good with that. Right, we're, okay. we're just honking there. Okay, right. what about uh, 0. 0.0065? Okay, well, the, the zeros there are leading zeros. Leading zeros we never count as they significant count. figures. So the only significant figures here are the 6 and the 5. So that's two six, significant five, figures. That's 2. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Now be careful. Just because we don't consider them significant figures doesn't mean they are not part of the number. Right. Okay? This doesn't magically become 65. Yes. It's still 0 .0065. But in terms of measurement and in terms of accuracy, we say it has two significant figures. Yep, that, that'd be correct. All right, what about uh, 5.00? 5.00, those, those are trailing zeros. Trailing zeros. Now we, have, we, have two, we have two rules for trailing zeros. And the rule is that if they're at the end and there's a decimal point in the number, yeah. mm -hmm. then they, they are count. significant. So this has three significant figures, the, the five, five and the, the zero, zero and the zero. zero. OK, well, let's do some more examples. OK, let's try What about uh, 5,000? OK, 5,000. Or 500, five, yeah. yeah. OK, so 500, those are still trailing zeros. Trailing zeros, But there's yeah. no mm -hmm. decimal point in that number. Oh, I don't see decimal point. No, points. so that, in this case, the trailing zeros are not significant, so, so there's only one, one significant figure. So that so, would just be one significant figure. Right. right. So now, again, the zeros are still part of the number. It's not five. But in It's not five. It's 500. But in terms of accuracy, it's accurate to one significant figure. So what figure. this is really saying, guys, is that this number sucks. Right. It's been measured very poorly. <laughs> right. So we're talking a measuring device that measures in hundreds. 100 things, 200 things, 300 things, yeah. 400 things. Now, on to contrast that, 500 decimal. Oh, yeah. 500 point or decimal, yeah. That has three significant figures. Even yeah. though there's a uh, trailing zero, since there's because a decimal there's point. there's a decimal. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this tells us that something is accurate to the ones place. So it measures 498, 499, yeah. Yeah. 500, 501, well, 502, like a mixed and so on. Mr. Sam's. Okay. What about 0. 0.005030? Oh, boy. So we have leading zeros, trailing zeros, and, and captive, captive zeros. zeros. And okay. a decimal. And a decimal. All right. Leading zeros are never significant. So, so these we can, ones right here we can roll those count. out. Right. No. Right. Now, the captive zero is always significant. Yep. So the 503 we know for sure. So the one in question is the zero at the end. Right. Now, trailing zeros are significant if, if there's, there's a decimal mm -hmm. in the number. So there's a decimal in this number. So this would be? 5030 zero, zero are significant. So there are four significant the five, figures. The five, the zero, the three, three the zero. The ones zero. you don't count are these two zeros here. And let's do one more combination example here on right. the top here. Let's say I have uh, five zero one point zero three zero grams or whatever. Okay, so uh, all the captive zeros are significant. So that'd be this zero right here. The question always is what happens to the zeros? Right, right. what happens to the zeros? So those, everything else captive, and I right. got a trailing zero. The trailing zero is significant if there's a decimal in the number. I see a decimal. That Mr. decimal Rams. is there, so that's number, the five, the zero, the one, the zero, the three, the zero are all significant, so we have six significant figures. Well, that's not too bad. I can that's that. about it. Okay. Pretty simple, just count yeah. them up. All right. The end. How's your head? Hurts. Yeah, good. I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you think. <laughs> Bye.